This is the Vaporflow. It's a vapor phase reflow oven perfect for soldering small batches of SMD components. It delivers consistent results due to uniform heating and overheating circuit boards is impossible. It comes with a touchscreen, has the option to create custom solder profiles and solder cycles can be logged on an SD card. The oven is filled with a PFPE fluid. The rack and the PCB with SMD components are then placed in the oven. When the lid is closed correctly, the machine is turned on. We are using Golden LS230. And let's start the soldering process. If you are not in a ventilated room, you can use a fume extractor for flux evaporation. The status of the soldering process is shown on the display. The set point temperature and the actual temperature, the status of the machine, heating or cooling, with a percentage indicating the duty cycle. Whether an SD card is detected, which can be used to log the soldering process as a CSV file, and the temperature of the oven. Small convection and infrared ovens need to directly heat the air or the heat needs to pass through the components. The temperature needs to be set much higher than the melting temperature of the soldering paste, which can cause components to overheat. The vapor flow uses vapor to heat the soldering paste and the soldering joints. Vapor ensures uniform heating and has a much better heat transfer, allowing the process to happen at a lower temperature. The PFPE liquid is engineered in such a way to never exceed the boiling point temperature. This prevents the components from overheating. When a machine has cooled down and the soldering process is completed successfully, the PCB can be removed from the oven. The components are properly aligned on the pads, no plastic is molten, there are no tin spots and no tombstoning has happened with any of the components. The vapor flow prevents components from overheating due to its uniform heat transfer. You are able to set and forget and the vapor flow will deliver excellent and consistent results.